to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a what I eat in a day video, holidays and stuff, y'all. It's been a struggle, so I am so excited today to bring you guys a what I eat in a day and meal prep video, and I'm so excited, honestly, really excited to get back on track. I feel like when you have been on track for a little bit and um, are not completely on track and you eat yucky things, it just makes you feel yucky, and that is exactly how I've been feeling. And so when you st when you eat like that, you're just ready to eat healthier and get back to feeling better, lose all this extra bloat. So I'm excited to do that today. I'm gonna be meal prepping. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat throughout the day. And meal prepping is something that, honestly, I haven't been doing lately. I've just been kind of winging it, just making whatever for lunch and breakfast and dinner. Um, but I do want to get better about meal prepping my lunches. Breakfast is easy for me. Um, and sometimes I do kind of meal prep that, but meal prepping my lunches is, I feel like it's going to be big for me, um, to do that and help me, motivate me to get on track and stay on track. And so whenever I lost all of my weight before, my biggest thing was, uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. And honestly, I live by that. If I didn't go to the grocery store and plan my meals out if i didn't try to meal prep a little bit i would fail and so i had so much great success before i lost a little over 40 pounds and was at a healthy weight and then i got pregnant and so i'm still trying to lose the rest of this baby weight but i wanted to show you guys my breakfast i had my coffee it was exactly kind of how i've been having it here lately um it was a three point coffee with two points worth of creamer by the way, I follow the Weight Watchers plan, the green plan, but um, I had two points worth of creamer and then one point worth, I just put a little bit of milk in there as well. But um, I get 36 points a day, so I am still breastfeeding my nine month old. But I wanted to tell you guys, I am really excited to share this with you guys. This video is sponsored by 3TM Nutrition. And when they reached out to me, I was really excited because I've been hearing so many good things about these nutrition shakes. And what is really good about them is when you make them with almond milk, um, you can just kind of, whatever uh, milk you prefer, you can just kind of adjust it to the, adjust the points for it. But when you make it with almond milk, they're only two points each. And I was so excited about that. And so I want to tell you guys a little about 310 Nutrition and then we're going to make the shake and I'm going to show you guys how I've been making it. Okay, so the ones that I've been drinking, the chocolate and then the chocolate mint are both great. I think I'm going to try the vanilla today and just kind of change it up a little bit. I also have toasted coconut. So they've got several different flavors you can choose from. And then this really cool shaker bottle. It's so pretty in pink, but I just wanted to show you guys. These are sugar-free. They're dairy-free, soy, egg, nut, and gluten-free. And these are just some of the ingredients. They have really good ingredients in on no artificial, artificial sweeteners or anything. And so these are actually a really healthy shake free of all of this. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I've been making my shake. Okay, so to make my shake, I, like I said, I'm gonna try the vanilla this time because I haven't tried that one yet. And so we're gonna do the vanilla shake and I mix mine with a little bit of frozen fruit. I might use actually um, a, a half of a, a fresh banana today and then some strawberries in it. So I've got this right here, and then in the bags, it comes with a scooper. So um, in your starter kit, I'll leave everything below for the starter kit, but in your starter kit, there is, um, you'll get a bag of whatever flavor you choose, but it'll come with a scooper, and you do one scoop in your shake. And this is a meal replacement shake. You can, there are so many different recipes for these, y'all. There's so many different variations you can do with these. And so this is just how I've been making mine. I think it'd be great with some peanut butter or powdered peanut butter to make a little bit healthier, less calories with uh, powdered peanut butter. Um, and then I know in Weight Watchers, you're technically supposed to, fruit is zero points, but when you blend fruit, you're, sp you're technically supposed to count it. I personally do not do that. And you do whatever you feel comfortable doing, but I have never counted blended fruit. And so, I'm, I think I'm actually gonna use a fresh banana today. I'm gonna use half of a fresh one. So let me show you guys. I've, um, 
I've got my blender here. This is just the magic bullet. It works great. All right, so I'm gonna do a cup of, this is unsweetened almond milk. This is just the Walmart brand. Um, I'm gonna do a cup of this. And then I'm gonna do a whole pack of my vanilla shake. Then I've got a half a banana. I'm gonna put this in there. And then I've got a bag here of some frozen strawberries and banana blend. I'm just gonna do the strawberries since I just put a fresh banana in here. I'm just gonna do a few strawberries. I think that'll be good. I'm gonna blend it up. And that is how I make my shake. But like I said, you don't have to put fruit in it at all. You could put whatever fruit you like in here. You could do just the almond milk or whatever milk. And the shake is all you have to do. It's really easy for on the go and just super simple to make. So I'm gonna blend this up. All right, it is blended. You can also do ice in here, but I find with the frozen fruit, I really don't need that ice. And so, um, yeah, and then I've got my really cool nutrition, 310 nutrition shaker bottle. And I'm just gonna pour it in here. And this is my two point breakfast. And I love it because it keeps me full for a long time. And that's big for me. If you guys are wanting to know the nutrition facts too, these are some of the nutrition facts. It's got one gram of fat. It's got a lot of protein. It's got 15 grams of protein. So that's gonna keep you full. But like I said, there is lots of different recipes. Um, 310 also has a, a really motivating Facebook group too. So if you guys are interested, you can check the link below. I've got, um, you can use my link below to get your starter kit for just $39, which is a big savings. I'm gonna go drink this. This is my breakfast. Mm. So good. So this is my breakfast. I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna show you guys um, what all I am meal prepping. All right, so while I have a minute, I also wanted to kind of talk in this video about um, just kind of like, y'all, a lot of you guys, if you've been following me for a long time, you know my journey with um, losing weight. And I really believe that what helps me is easy planning things, but easy things that I can take um, on the go if I need to, or just honestly, as a busy mom of three, just easy things that I can make. And that has really been a big thing for me. And so these things that I do, um, as far as the shakes, is super easy to make in the morning. And then meal prepping, I'm excited to get back in the swing of meal prepping. And that way I have at lunchtime, uh, I have what I need in the refrigerator to eat for lunch, and I'm gonna, I'm try, I'm gonna try to meal prep for five days worth of things. I even got some meal prep containers the other day, and my journey started um, in January of 2017 is when I signed up for Weight Watchers. I had done it in the past, but I signed up in January, lost maybe like 10 to 12 pounds from January to probably like August, and then August is from August until about January of the next year. So about six months, five or six months, um, is when I lost the majority of my weight. That is when I really found my motivation and that is when I lost the majority of my weight. So I ended up losing um, between 40 and 45 pounds. I got down to lifetime on Weight Watchers, a healthy weight, and I was able to maintain that for several months. And then um, I truly believe that being a healthier weight and eating healthier and getting down to a healthy weight is what helped me get pregnant with Millie. And surprise, we got pregnant with Millie in like July. And so I maintained my weight for several months, got pregnant with Millie, and Millie is now nine months old. And I gained a good bit of weight during my pregnancy and I've lost a lot of it. So I still got about 20, to, between 20 and 25 pounds to lose to get back down to um, where I want to be in my pre-pregnancy weight. And so that's just a little bit of my journey. And I think that if I can do it, I think anybody can do it. I think just taking it one day at a time and um, don't look at the big picture, but have small goals you wanna achieve. Maybe the first five pounds and then make it 10 pounds and then make it 15 and 20, maybe five pounds at a time. Instead of if you need to, lo need to lose 40 or 50 pounds, instead of looking at that big picture, just take it a little bit at a time and those pounds add up. And I know it seems like it's so far away and it's gonna take forever to get there, but honestly, those pounds add up. 
keep that motivation plan your meals planning failing to plan is planning to fail and so i've said that in my videos before so i am honestly so excited within these next few months to just get back down to where i want to be and it's not even about losing all the weight but it's just about feeling good and just being healthier i just feel so much better and feel much so much more confident in myself um when i feel better and eat healthier so that's just a little bit of my journey so i am gonna finish my breakfast and then i'm gonna start meal prepping so that way it'll be done at lunchtime and that will be my meals for the whole week okay the baby's down for a nap it is the perfect time to get this meal prepping done and so for today i'm making this um is a very easy meal prep and so for today, I've got a recipe for baked chicken. It's supposed to be easy baked chicken, um, super easy recipe. And so I'm going to show you guys how I'm making that. And then I'm also going to roast some vegetables and potatoes. So for now, let's go ahead and start making the chicken, which I have actually a whole bag of frozen chicken in here. I love chicken and so I hope this recipe is really good. I've heard it is. It gets really good reviews. Um, this recipe is from the skinnishdish.com Easy Baked Chicken. So I've got a whole bag right here. I've been brining this chicken and it's something I've never done is brined chicken. But according to what I've read, it is so important to do that for the flavor of the chicken. So it's been brining for the past couple of hours. I put it on this morning before I took Delaney to school. And so, I am getting ready. I'm going to pack this to dry and get all the seasonings on it. All right. So, this recipe actually um, calls for two pounds of chicken. I've got all about two and a half pounds here. So, I'm going to add a little bit of everything, uh, extra of everything. So, I've got a little over a tablespoon of olive oil in here. And then, I'm going to go in um, with some garlic powder. A half a teaspoon of pepper, which really you can do any seasonings you want. We're going to do... Um, a teaspoon of garlic powder, which I probably put a little bit more garlic powder because I really like garlic. A teaspoon of paprika and half a teaspoon of oregano. All right, so we've got our garlic powder. Like I said, I'm going to do a little bit more than a teaspoon in here just because I love garlic. I'm going to do a teaspoon of the paprika. And then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of oregano. That is it, and I don't want to do this, but this is the best way to do it. So I'm getting my hands in here. Oh, this is so gross, but this is the best way to mix it up really well. Get all that oil and seasonings well mixed together. And so I'm going to do this, and we're going to stick it on our pan to be put in the oven for probably about 15 to 20 minutes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my pan really well. This pan, this pan I have, tends to stick. This one, um, I've got tin foil on it. I'm just spraying it really well. And I've got some broccoli right here. So I think I'm going to do a half a pan of broccoli. And then I've got some potatoes that I'm going to do as well just to have like a carb in here. All right, I've got a half a pan of broccoli. And then I picked these up at Aldi yesterday. I was like, you know what? This is like the perfect size for my meals for the week. And honestly, all of this stuff is about $10 for a uh, five days worth of meals. Everything I have right here is probably about $10 total. So I'm going to cut these up and put them on the pan. Okay, I've got everything on here. I've got most of the potatoes. And I'm going to give them a good spray with just some olive oil spray. And then I am going to season them with some garlic powder, and that will probably be it. I would probably season the potatoes with a little bit of seasoning salt, but I am out. Okay, so here's my meal prep. I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. We've got some chicken, broccoli, and potatoes for the week. And actually, um, when I do my meal prep containers and put everything and measure everything out and determine the points... Each day I will also um, like dip the chicken in something. So I will go ahead and show you guys actually real quick. I'm waiting on the oven to preheat. I will dip it in this G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. This stuff you can get it at Walmart. It is really, really good. It doesn't taste sugar-free. It tastes great. I also, oh, or I also really like this. The G Hughes um, sugar-free honey mustard is really great as well. Both of those have a really great flavor and honestly, 
they do not taste sugar free they're really good so i'm gonna throw these in the oven and i'm gonna let these cook and then we'll put them in our containers all right so i've got everything cooked it looks really good it was so easy it's just it was so easy to do so i'm gonna spread it out um the chicken i think for four and a half ounces was only two points and i'll probably do a couple points worth of potatoes i'll just measure it out i've got my scale right here and these are my meal prep containers these were super cheap at target these were the only ones i could find so i just picked these up for now i might invest in something a little bit later um better quality but these there's like two dollars and something at target for a pack of three so i got a couple packs of these so i'm going to measure out um, my chicken and then my vegetables and just kind of spread it out between five days all right, y'all, here are five days worth of meals. Got chicken, two points worth of chicken, two points worth of potatoes, and the broccoli is zero. And then the sauce that I use will also be zero points. So something you could also do, especially if you work on the go, is um, go ahead and make up. I've just got these containers. They have little lids on them. Go ahead and make up your sauce as well if you want sauce for your chicken. Um, and those would probably fit down in here and that way everything would be ready just grab it and walk out the door if you need to go on the go but since i do stay home um i'm not gonna make my sauce up so here are my lunches four points a piece which is really low in points for me my lunches are usually more like seven to eight points a piece and so i'm excited for a lower point lunch i really like that i have a protein and a vegetable but i also have a carb to make it um something that I will be more likely to eat. And so, yeah, it looks really good. The chicken looks great. So I will keep you guys updated on how the chicken tastes when I eat my lunch a little bit later. I am done with lunch. It's actually about 2.30, so I'm way done with lunch. It was really good. So I really enjoyed that chicken and I would definitely be making it again. The only change I will make is instead of the tenderloins, um, I will buy the actual breasts, the chicken breasts um, to go to make it. And I'll probably buy, buy fresh next time. Not that there's anything wrong with frozen. Or I'll probably just buy the frozen chicken breast is what I'll do. So five of the actual frozen chicken, or five actual chicken breasts instead of a bunch of tenderloins is the only change I will make next time. But it was really good. Um, so I will definitely be meal prepping that again and using it for salads and different things. Um, I definitely suggest doing baked chicken like that. Getting to do air fried chicken. I might do that sometimes. Um, I actually thought about using my air fryer for like the vegetables or the potatoes, um, but everything was just in one pan, so it was super easy to do. But I am eating my first snack. I might eat another snack before supper later, but I've got um, just some strawberries right here with some Cool Whip. Yum! I'm trying to incorporate more zero point foods and more fruits and vegetables into my diet. So the strawberries are zero points. If you guys might be confused earlier when I said blended fruit counts points, there's a reason why Weight Watchers does that and I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly why it is, but um, fresh fruit that's not blended up is zero points, but when you do blend it, it does something to it that, I don't know, it's supposed to count as points. So anyway, so I've got two points worth of this um, Fit and Active light whipped topping and so, this is going to be my snack of the day. Maybe another snack later, but this is for now. All right. It is getting close to supper time, but I am feeling the snacky urge to snack. So I'm going to go ahead and eat something so I don't eat something I'm not supposed to. Um, so I'm going to because it's cooked up in about an hour, but I'm going to eat a banana with some peanut butter. This is a tablespoon of peanut butter, which is three points. I've got like 20 something points left. So plenty of points left for the day. Um, I actually may not use all my points today, which would be nice because get rid of all this bloat. But um, I'm getting ready to eat this as a snack. All right, made it a little bit differently. How good does that look? This is my favorite snack. Anyways, normally I chop it up and do this. But here we go, a three-point snack. I didn't use all the peanut butter, so I'm not going to count the chocolate chips. All right, it is about a little after five, and... Because I've done, I feel like I've done a lot of cooking today. Not a ton of cooking, but my meal prepping and all that. We are having a very simple supper, and we actually really like these meals. I've talked about them before. You guys, if you've been around, you heard me talk about them. 
and they're um, not super high in points either. I will put it in the app and show you guys how many points they are. The Bird's Eye, voila. I think that's how you say it. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Um, this is the Sweet and Sour Chicken. We also, I can't remember what all flavors they have. There's another one we, we really like too. It's like an Asian, no, teriyaki something. It's really good. Um, che the cheesy chicken, I think we tried that. It's good, but they're like easy meals, especially when like we have really a really busy week this week. We have a revival at church tonight, and so I just really needed simple meals, and I had this in my freezer, and I thought. I can, I know I've showed it before, but if you guys are needing quick meals, this is perfect. Let me put it in the app and I'll show you guys how many points it is. Okay, you hear, probably hear the dishwasher in the background, so I'm sorry for that. And you also probably hear my kids in the background. We are getting ready for church and all that. Um, it is eight points for a cup. One cup cooked is eight points. And I've got several points left for the day, so I'll probably have a little bit more than that. Um, but it is really good. I'll show you guys. There it is. So, I just wanted to show you guys, this is real life. I don't always cook um, a bunch of stuff at supper times. I like really easy stuff, especially for busy nights. We have something going on per every, actually every night this week. And so, meals like this are what saves me so we don't just eat out every night. So, easy to make. All right, let me show y'all how easy this is. It's got two sauce pouches in here. Hey, yeah, frozen meals do have a lot of sodium and things, but you know what? You're still getting vegetables in and different things like that, so you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So I'm gonna set this to about medium heat. Super easy. I know I probably don't even have to show you guys this, but I'm just showing you guys how easy it is. And then you're gonna add all of your bag. I get the family size because we like leftovers. The kids. Um, normally eat some of it. Um, I get the family size and then you add a little bit of water in here. All right, this is the finished product. I've actually got about 12 points worth here, which is almost one and a half cups, but smells and looks so good. All right, it's getting later. We are getting, it is the end of the night, so I'm getting ready to make a dessert. I think I've shared this like a long time ago. It's been a long time since I've had it. So I get ready to make these these are from Aldi. These are Pizzelle vanilla flavored little cookie things. They're very thin and they're like, a, they're about one point each. Um, and so I'm just gonna make a couple of them and make a little dessert out of them. They are really good. They have a really good flavor. So I actually um, may make a couple with the dessert and then may eat a couple plain. Um, these are how, they're super thin. Also, if you guys hear noise in the background, that is our robot vacuum cleaner going. It goes off every night at 9 o'clock, and it is almost 9.30, so it's going in the kitchen right now. So, all I'm going to do, I'm going to add, you really can do, like, different things with this, but I'm going to add some more of this Cool Whip. I'm going to add a couple points worth of it onto here, and then I'll add some fruit to it. Okay, so I actually had something different in mind. I was going to put some Cool Whip on top, and then a banana sliced on top, too kind of hard to do because these are very thin as you can tell I've already broke one so I'm actually having more of these than I thought because I have several points left for the day I'm making a little ice cream sandwich out of it it looked just as I was making I was like you know what that sounds actually really good so I made two of those so um actually what I have here is probably about seven or eight points but I've got several points left for the day and so actually I have let's see I have like 12 11 or 12 points left for the day I think so this is gonna be my last meal little snack of the day so that's gonna be it for this video I'm gonna go ahead and end it here it is getting late I'm gonna go finish my dessert I hope this gave you some motivation to do good for the week hope it gave you some ideas definitely um, check out 310 nutrition if you've never heard of them or if you want to try it and try out the starter kit Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.